Hey, it's your girl LMJ coming to you with today's sip, spiritual inspirational pause. And today I want to talk to you or God wants to talk to us about capacity. Since yesterday evening, I have been hearing this word in my spirit and that's how God deals with me. He knows I love words, so he always deals with me in words. So I want to define capacity for us first. Capacity as a noun is passive power. The power of containing or holding, the extent of room or space, right? The extent or comprehensiveness of the mind, the power of receiving knowledge or ideas. And I asked the Lord, I said, what are you asking me? This is the state and condition and the character, right? My profession, my occupation, what I have in my hands, what I have that I can do, what knowledge I have, that's my capacity. But I know that God is showing me in this season that he does not want me operating in just my capacity. And I, ask, I always ask God when he's trying to teach me something or show me something, back it up for me in the word. And so he took me over to the Bible story of Gideon. And we're going over to Judges in the sixth chapter. And Gideon is called by God to save the people of Israel by leading them against the Midianites, right? Israel had done way too much. <laughs> and so this is why they were in the Midianites' hands. But there's something to be, noted, be denoted here. God had a promise for Israel's life. And even though they had done way too much, God still wanted to fulfill the promise through Israel, right? And so he he in. He sees Gideon, who's actually hiding, right? He's harvesting wheat, and he's hiding from the Midianites. And an angel spoke to him and addressed him as a mighty man of courage, right? Even though he didn't seem courageous, he addressed him as a mighty man of courage. And the angel told Gideon that God was sending him to save Israel from the hand of Midian. First, Gideon doubts his ability, right? He's like, there's no way I can do this, right? But God heartens him to fulfill his mission. But God gives him a task. And this is where I know God is showing us. This is what we can do in our capacity. God says to him, he says, look, I need you to go and destroy the altar of Baal or Baal. He said, the Israelites have constructed. I need you to do that first. That's your capacity. That's what you can do in your power, right? And so at night, Gideon goes and he takes 10 men down to the altar of Baal, right? They were angry, but he destroys it. He does exactly what God has asked him to do. He's obedient. This is his part. For me, this is the, this is the works, right? When we say faith without works is dead. And then so he comes back and he's seeking reinsurance from the Lord. And Gideon requests proof of God's promise to save Israel using a fleece. He's like, give me a great army, Lord. I need a great army. I'm not going to be able to do this without a great army, right? And so he's encouraged by the acts of God and Gideon and his men get down to the camp and they're ready to go destroy and they're getting prepared for battle. And then God does something so amazing. He says, Gideon, I don't want you taking all those people into battle. And I'm paraphrasing. He said, I want you to only take 300 men. And I'm sure at that moment, Gideon was like, what? What, what do you mean 300 men? There's 10 thousands of him. But God was trying to prove not only to Midian, but also to Israel that I'm valid, that I'm important, that it's not by your power. It's not in your strength. That's what he was saying. Zechariah 4 and 6, it's not by your power. It's not what, it's, what I'm about to do for you is going to validate that I am God. <laughs> what I'm about to do for you is going to seal that I am your Lord, thy God, that I am the one that's leading you out, not Gideon. Gideon is just my vessel. Gideon is just willing to obey me. And so he takes the 300, right? And they all, they conquer, they, they overcome the Midianites, right? They overcome the Midianites. They surround the camp, right? The Midianites think that they're greatly outnumbered, right? And they're not even greatly outnumbered. And I know for a fact, that's what God is saying to us. There is a place where your capacity or your knowledge, or your wisdom, or what you're going to do, what you can do is going to run out. And at the place when your capacity runs out, that's when God takes over. That's when the spirit of the Lord comes in like a flood and becomes the standard. That's where the spirit of the Lord, um, his favor enters a situation. And so I think we have to learn how to rest in his strength. I think we have to be okay when our capacity runs out. I think we need to be comfortable when God's saying, I need you to simplify things and not stop and stop doing so much because it's not in your strength 
and your promises. I'm the one. I know the plan that I have for you. And I'm going to secure the victory. And I'm going to secure the win so that everybody knows that the, that the Lord thy God, my God, was the one that brought you out. That's so powerful. So it's not in my capacity. It's not in all my own strength. It's not by my own power, says the Lord. It's in his capacity, which is a dunanonymous power, a great power, exerting a great force in which he will be known as the Lord your God. Can I pray for us? Father God, help us to get out your way. Help us to live a more simple, simplified life. Help us not to exert and move in our own strength. My God, help us to understand that our capacity is just the faith, right? It's just the mustard seed, see, Lord God. Help us to understand that it is in your, it is by your spirit, it is in your strength that we are going to accomplish great feats, Lord God, that you are going to complete, that you are going to finish the promise. My God, help us to give, realize that it's not according to us but it's all according to you. Give us eyes to see, ears to hear, wisdom and knowledge and understanding when to rest and to move out your way and allow you to be God. <laughs> My God, not in your own capacity, not in your passive power, says the Lord but in my strength and my power, and more so by my spirit. And can I tell you something? Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is absolutely freedom. If you want to know more about the ministry, log on to the website, LakeishaMJohnson.com.